few days, we'll be leaving for Dream Sands Resort in Cancun, Mexico. It is a newly renovated resort, but the reviews aren't so great. The reviews are mixed on this resort. I'm very interested to see what happens on this resort. I'm hearing the food is not good. Food is always a tough subject for me because we're not much of foodies, so it's like, eh. People have generally said that the rooms are outdated and the reviews have just really been a big turn off. But one thing that everyone agrees on is that the beach is fantastic. I have read that the Dreams Beach is the most beautiful beach. So we booked this resort for the beach. Going into it with an open mind. This is just gonna be a nice relaxing vacation for us. Just Brandy and I sipping pina coladas, doing some tequila shots. Try to get as much information for you as we can so you can make a decision on whether or not you wanna stay at the Dreams Sands Resort in Cancun, Mexico. Travel days, travel days. We flew Frontier. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not against Frontier. Flights were decently priced. But it is a budget airline, so you just have to know you're not getting anything extra. The plane was empty. This is the emptiest flight ever, and I love it. Dream Sands Cancun Resort and Spa is a family all-inclusive located at the top northern part of the hotel zone. This resort had mixed reviews, but you never know what to believe with reviews these days. So we were determined to find out the truth. How bad could it be? We would also be trying out Dream Sands VIP service called Preferred Club. To be part of the Preferred Club, all we had to do was book an upgraded room for an additional fee, and in return would receive these extra perks. But would it be worth it? It was a good flight. We made it to Cancun. Once you get off the plane, you go straight through immigration. You don't have to fill out those immigration forms anymore, so that's kind of nice. So we got our luggage and then went to find Amstar. We find Amstar. I got a Dos Equis outside the airport and it was $8. Don't buy it, but it was actually really good. We got into a van. We got a straight ride here. We had nonstop driving to our resort due to being preferred members here, or preferred club. It's about a 25 minute drive from the airport. We got to the resort, we got off the shuttle. I didn't feel like special at all. Before I knew it, someone was handing me a washcloth. I was like, okay. Listen, I like a little washy-washy now and then, but I had a bunch of stuff in my hands and I didn't need one extra thing in my hands. We had to get on an elevator, went up a floor, went into this preferred lounge. They sat us down and the girl that checked us in was very nice. They give us beers. She started going through everything, telling us, you know, these are your perks, this is what you get. She tells us you guys can upgrade to a preferred balcony room if you want. Normally it costs this much, but today we'll give you it for this price. And we're like, nah. But she went through everything with us and told us there's a preferred club for breakfast, there's a preferred club pool that's available for us. And she was gonna give us a tour. And as we go to stand up, another guy butts in and says, I got this, got this. And he kind of like, I thought he was kind of intrusive. And she seemed kind of taken aback by it. I'm just like, well, whatever, maybe this is just, I don't know, a guy that just likes to do tours. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, come over here. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you all about it. He walked over, he goes, that's your preferred pool. Those tables over there come with it, the umbrellas and then the beach chairs. And then he said, let's have a seat. That should have been my first clue. I'm pretty sure that was my husband's first clue. He didn't get into it right away, but the minute he starts talking about dreams and different resorts and stuff like that, I started to notice, I'm like, oh wait, the guy worked for the little VIP services. They say it's not timeshare and all this, but they try to, they want you to join some kind of subscription service and pay some extra money. But this gentleman wasn't giving us a tour. He was trying to give us the whole sales pitch about if you go do this 90 minute tour and blah, 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 blah. And then James was like, all right, our room's ready. Let's go to our room. We never got a tour. Look, I know we just got here. We're supposed to be doing a room tour right now before we mess up the room, but I need a beer. So let's go check out this refrigerator. This is gonna be spectacular, right? We're VIP. I just can't wait to see what we got in here. So, my favorite, I love, are you kidding me? Baby beers? What? James, this is the perfect amount of beer. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
That was a big mistake. Nobody takes mama's beer. My baby beer. Two minutes later. We weren't really fighting. We were we were joking. We polished off some beers, which obviously didn't take very long. These things are so tiny. There really is no more beer in here. Look at these beers compared to my face. That we so fast. I, I took don't like two understand. Swigs. I took like two swigs and I was gone. Now we have no alcohol left in the room. We haven't left the room. We haven't seen what this resort is all about yet. Now, Brandy, what are we gonna do? James. I think we should get this room tour started. <laughs> we are in room 822 at the Dream Sands Resort here in Cancun, Mexico. This is a King Oceanfront preferred room. Preferred means that there's it's a VIP style room, gets extra amenities, which we'll go over later. So we're gonna go through this room tour real quick. When you walk in the room to your left here, there are two closet doors. There's two nice robes, and then there's an iron ironing board. There is an umbrella, which that's kind of nice and a little thing for your luggage. If you open the other side of the door here, there is a safe, some extra bedding, um, and a couple drawers here. Nice size closet and quite a bit of hangers. So that's kind of nice. Can you hear the drilling y'all? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe they're upgrading some rooms and just haven't hit ours. So when, if you go to your right, here's the sink area. There's this nice, these are always nice for when you do your makeup and that kind of stuff. There is lotion, shampoo and conditioner all in one. There is hand soap, a sewing kit, a shaving kit, a razor, shaving cream, and then there's a dental kit, toothbrush. Look how tiny that is. And then a hair comb, a little comb, tissues. Down below is a scale and a blow dryer down there. Classic hotel blow dryer. When you walk into the bathroom, there's, so this is my biggest concern, the shower. So the shower head looks like it's not great. I haven't used it, I but, oh, we'll see. And then up here not is anymore. a dry line. So that's the bathroom, nothing special. Not very big, sure. No, nope, small. And then we walk in here, and this is my favorite part of the room. The size of this mirror. It is huge. It's a darn near a whole floor to ceiling mirror. And then you come in and there's some shelves, a TV. There is a little seat here to sit and that's stained. It's got lots of stains on it. Stain, stain. And I'm not picky at all, but that's kind of gross. The preferred rooms have coffee pots and there's some cups and some, um, there's an ice bucket there. I don't know where the ice is, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. In our refrigerator here, we have regular Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola light, Sprite, Fanta, water. I'm assuming this is sparkling water, apple juice and mango juice. And then four beers. Up top are our preferred bonus things and we get- Beautifully displayed. Yep, we get M&Ms. And we get a little thing of Pringles. Are they not almost like hidden up there? They are hidden so that you don't use them. The room decor, there's five pieces of room decor on the wall. That's what we get. So there's a king size bed, which I bet this bed is comfortable. Um, it comes with a bunch of pillows, which I appreciate. Um, this is a preferred thing. We got this at the Breathless Resort in Punta Cana too. These bags are the bomb. I loved our bag from Breathless. I actually still use it. So I'm ex I didn't bring a bag hoping that we would get one. Um, and then there's slippers. Right, then you have a table and chairs. And then this tells you that you get a bottle of liquor. We'll get a bottle of liquor. We chose rum. So we'll see what size liquor bottle we get. But then this door right here, this is just leading to another room. This is a apparently an option for a conjoining room. It doesn't have a balcony. It has no outdoor space at all. This was a little bit different for us um, when we've had preferred rooms or VIP rooms in the past. All of them have had balconies or outdoor rooms on the first floor. So this is our view from our ocean front king room. It is a beautiful view. It's a very large window. It expands the whole width of the room. That window was actually much better than what we were expecting. It was big. It only opened about six inches. 
This room is pretty basic. There's nothing really too special about this room. For a preferred room, I would expect a little bit more, I guess, but I'm not too picky. This doesn't feel like an upgraded room. The bed seems comfortable. We haven't slept in it yet, but the room is definitely outdated. Cleanliness, I'm not saying the room isn't clean, but the fabrics that they chose when they did these rooms are stained. So like the seat and then the exterior around the bed. The bed linen looks clean, but the stuff that is cloth that goes on top of things all kind of looks a little stained and dirty. It's not that the room is like gross or anything. It's just beat up. It's seen better days, okay? Furniture is kind of scuffed up and like you can just tell that things are just a little bit older. Like could use a little bit more grout. Could use some paint, some, uh, oh, just a whole new redesign. It's got to go with this beach. So I would say they could definitely put some money in their rooms. I feel like we got a regular room with some M&Ms and Pringles. It is what it is. I'm not like totally disappointed because we did get it for a good price. We booked on a Black Friday deal. Yeah, that's a real thing. We're probably pretty easy to please. We'll have to check out and see what the rest of the resort looks like. I do know that they've done a lot of renovations to the main areas. So we'll have to check this out and see where we're at with those. The beach is beautiful. I do give them that. They do have a beautiful beach here. It looks really nice. I can see it from my room. Room here. I haven't been down there yet, but I'm about to go down there. Go into that and see if it's the cellar. Hello? Yes. Okay. I was talking to Roger. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Roger wants us to come down and sell us something. Well, he doesn't want to sell us something. He wants to give us $200 credit for something and he wants us to stop by. Something tells me Roger wants to take more of my time though for that $200 credit. I'm not willing to give it to him, so if I see Roger, Roger I'm gonna say, hey Roger, how's it going bro? And I'm just gonna walk right by him to the bar. Cause I know how this stuff goes. I'm only here for four days. I'm ready to get a pina colada, a shot of tequila. Oh. I'm going crazy. We're about to get out of this room and go, go to, straight to the bar. We're going straight to the bar. Roger, I'm sorry, but we gotta go to the bar. We're about to just kind of go head out and venture around and do our own little tour since Mr. interrupted our tour. So we just walked around, kind of checking out the grounds, checking out the beach. Looks really pretty. Swimming pools look really nice. There's a shine party tonight outdoors. It doesn't seem real busy today. So they tell me that entertainment and everything pretty much stops at 1030, which is fine for us because we're old and 1030 is a perfect time for us to call it a night. But if you're a younger person, 10.30 is kind of early. This seems at first glance to be a super laid back style resort. There's plenty of bars, which is perfect, but we'll see. The bar at the Barracuda had a whole menu with ingredients in it. I like that. On tap, they have Dos Equis. So Dos Equis Amber and Dos Equis Clear. Totally works for me. I do enjoy both of those. Look, what's up with the baby beers? I feel like this is even a baby glass. I got baby beers in my cooler, and then I'm getting baby glasses of beers when I go to the bar. What am I doing wrong here? I thought I was preferred. What was nice about baby beers though, it's like they're just more crushable. I feel like I'm getting a shot of beer. I love this. Getting served drinks, just chilling out here. Tonight we ate at El Patio. We're gonna call it El Patio because it's spelled patio. The patio. But it was indoors, it wasn't on a patio. But it is a Mexican restaurant. It's supposed to be authentic Mexican restaurant. It was definitely different. Fancy dinner we got here. <laughs> it took a long time to get our food. I feel like they wanna wear you out, and get you tired. Carpaccia, something with a pineapple ceviche. That's what it is. I got a lasagna of some sort, and it was not great. I didn't like it at all. James liked it. He said it was just very beany. I got a dessert that was a guava creme brulee, and it was really good. Came with ice cream. The only thing it was missing is it like didn't have the flame across the top to make it crunchy. But if it would have had that crunch on the top, it would have been superb. I got tortilla soup as an appetizer, some kind of flank steak dinner. I don't remember what it was called on the menu, but it was okay. Nothing that really impressed me. And then the dessert was pretty good. Mine wasn't good. Brandy says mine wasn't good. James had these disgusting little cottage cheese filled something, something, somethings. 
He liked them, and it was all I could do to chew and swallow them. That's not bad. I wasn't too impressed with the Mexican restaurant, but our server, our server was exceptional. He was great. Presentation, great. Looked like really delicious food. But once you took a bite into it, I was like, uh, needs like some more salt, need, need some more spice. I've never been to a Mexican restaurant that had no flavor. I told Brandy this is like the hospital version of Mexican food, if that makes any sense to you. They were really particular on whether or not you have allergies and all that stuff when we first got here. And they asked that at the restaurants and stuff too. And then they give you hospital food. So tomorrow we'll go to a different restaurant and we'll try not to go to the same restaurant twice. I thought the candle was fake, it's not. It was a real candle. <laughs> Their entertainment tonight was a shine party. Yo, this party is lit. I still don't know what that means. I asked and he said, it shines. That's what the bartender said. People wearing glow sticks and stuff like that. They call it the shine party. There was a lot of glow sticks and people glow. Nice. They had a DJ and all the families came out and were dancing. Definitely a family oriented resort. You know the other weird thing about being at this resort? You don't get wristbands. So we stopped at the rendezvous bar, which is the lobby bar on our way back up to our room. And I ordered a Jack and Coke. The guy goes, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I have Jack only for preferred members. I'm like, that's okay because I'm preferred. And he's like, oh, okay. So I don't know if I just look like I'm not. I'm not sure how we tell if we're preferred or not uh, when we don't have any wristbands. But apparently today, guys, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not looking preferred. Anyways, I got to pick my amount of liquor, which I have horrible judgment because I said, oh, that's good. And it is so strong. But the rendezvous bar is open till 1 a.m. It's a nice little area. There's live entertainment down there tonight, a lady and a piano singing. The two bars that are open until 1 a.m. are Halftime and Rendezvous. Halftime is the sports bar, and then the rendezvous bar is the lobby bar. I haven't seen any 24-hour bars, and the only 24-hour food that I see is the room service. Oh, been a long day. Um, but it was a good day. Helped a family take some family photos. Got to watch the sun go down. You can see the sunset perfectly. It was a beautiful night to watch the sunset. Pictures do not do it justice. It was stunning. The ocean water feels really warm. This beach is beautiful. This makes up for the outdated room. kind of figuring out the resort a little bit. There's a lot of families here, which is great. I don't mind. I love hearing the laughter and all the conversations being had, and I, I love hearing families make memories, so that doesn't bother me one bit, except for when they're screaming in my room next door. You can hear everything from your neighbors, at least in our room. It sounds like they're in our room with us. If you don't like kids, this is not the resort for you. I don't know how I feel about this resort on day one. We're having a good time. I will say that. Big day ahead of me tomorrow. Gotta to figure out this resort. I need to learn more about Preferred Club. I think there's two extra bars that we have access to and one private pool that's for preferred members only. What's going on with the preferred thing? Cause uh, I don't really know. So far it's a little bit overrated, but I might change my mind tomorrow. So stick around. And then we'll see you tomorrow at the Dream Sands in Cancun. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to figure out what's really going on at this resort. Is it all beach, like they say? Or is there really something to this resort that the reviewers are just not mentioning? We'll let you know. My goal for today is to get out there figure out this resort, get familiar with it. Check out the pools, the beach, and just kind of spend a day together. We went and sat at the preferred outdoor seating right on the beach. They got us towels. We told the guy that we wanted a secluded area and he gave us a pretty secluded area and we couldn't even see the beach. Woke up at nine, got a good night's sleep I felt like, but you can hear everything from your neighbors, at least in our room. It 
sounds like they're in our room with us. Like this morning, I could hear them whispering to each other. They have at least one baby. When you have kids next door, there's a chance that they're gonna cry a lot at night because they're not home and this isn't their home environment and they're out of their element. When they wake up scared. That's kind of what happened last night. At some point in the night, I woke up to a thud. It scared the crap out of me. I could tell it was a body that hit the floor. It was silent, but I heard the mom and dad like panic and freak out and then a blood curdling scream. The baby fell out of the bed. I knew exactly what had happened when I heard it. The marble floors are, I can't even imagine what that mom felt like in the dad when they realized their baby had fallen out of the bed. But the mom was consoling the baby. I can tell you step by step what happened. She was going because I could hear her. So that's the only thing so far. You can hear the hallway. Tonight we'll listen to music. Maybe we'll listen to white noise so that maybe it'll go over to the baby. Baby Shusher will just go shh. And maybe the baby will hear it from our room since we can hear everything from their room. But this morning, decided to come down to get a coffee. Got coffee at Coco Coffee Shop downstairs and it was actually really good. I was pretty impressed. But they had fruit cups, which was pretty good. I don't even know what kind of fruit it was. It was actually pretty good. A couple melons, it looks like. But then they had ice cream and then they had some croissants and some other little, I think a yogurt of some sort. Frozen coffees, warm coffees, hot chocolates that kind of stuff. But that is open 24 hours a day. I would assume as the day goes on, it changes. I would assume around lunchtime, it changes to like maybe like mini sandwiches or something along those lines. They assigned us our own server and he kept coming back regularly and asked us if we need anything. We didn't really want much. We got waters. Yeah, the service over here in the preferred section is great. But the plan for our second day is to hang out at the beach, check out the pools. We're gonna have to hit up the buffet at some point in time today so that way we can make sure we get to the buffet since it's not open for dinner which is weird to me sitting here debating on whether or not i want a beer right now it's like 11 17 on vacation hmm, do i want a beer hmm. i am vip i think i should get a beer vip do you know who i am do you know who i am I am a preferred club. You are now in the presence of a... We went to the preferred club infinity pool and hung out there just to check that out. There's not a whole lot of seating right there in that area, but they got a bar, they got some restrooms. They are pretty nice restrooms. You can even order food there. We got lunch there um, at the pool. They have a nice little menu. Brandy got like a Philly cheesesteak and I got some kind of chicken wrap. Both of which were pretty good. It was delicious. Actually like enjoyed it more than what I enjoyed dinner last night. But you can't really screw that food up too much though. That's, that's easy. So, so far what I'm gathering, they actually take care of you here. We walked the beach for a while just to check it out. We're gonna go for a little walk on the beach. What do you say, Brandy? Yes, it's a beautiful beach to walk. Dreams Resorts Beach is beautiful and it's super calm because of location. Where this location is, it blocks a lot of the waves, or a lot of the seaweed doesn't come in here. It does, but not a whole lot, um, simply because of a great location. There's not a whole lot of vendors on the beach. And even the ones that I've seen here and there, they're like, they walk right past you. They're like, not pushy at all. No one even really stopped us. They're just kind of kept walking. And said, hey, are you interested? Show us their stuff as they're walking, not even stopping. But yeah, I don't see a whole lot of them anyway. And for the most part, this beach is not too packed or anything. I'm sure this changes from season to season and depending on what time of year you come here and, and all that. But our stay here, everything's, it's been pretty chill. Nice calm waters here. The ocean water is so warm. It is beautiful out there. The beach here and the water here is just absolutely beautiful. So out in the water, there is a water trampoline and a volleyball net for everybody to utilize. This beach is very good for rafts. Everything's in pretty close proximity to each other, so it doesn't really take much. If you have to come back up to your room, it doesn't take you long. Come back up to your room, you go right back downstairs. We uh, came back up to the room to blow up these rafts, and who knew that that was gonna be a job? But mama came through. Right now, Brandy is blowing up some rafts because the water's so calm here that you can float on a, on a raft in the Mexican Caribbean. How's it going, Brandy? That's not all the time. 
I blew up a decent amount of these wraps. Are you gonna make it? I have blown up one whole wrap. And now I'm blowing up this massive beast. It's just a lot of, a lot of blowing. Let me show you how to do it, woman. The maid came up and made up our room while we were downstairs at the beach and she did a great job. It, she did a wonderful job, it looks very nice. We're blowing up our rafts, which is not necessarily easy. Normally we'd use like a pump. We need but, after this. Small rum bottles in the room, tiny rum bottle. The service at this resort is wonderful. Everybody has been great, even though I'm kind of annoyed by the VIP services. Oh my God, my husband's pouring Bacardi into our containers to take out on the raft. James, do not put that much Bacardi in mine. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. What is he gonna do to me? Here's another tip. Take one of these with you on vacation and you can stay hydrated out at the beach. A lot of times if you bring your own jugs, you can go up to the bar and they'll fill up your jug with whatever drink you want. But we use them for drinks, but mainly for water. Mine's got Bacardi in it right now. But, um, we're gonna figure out what kind of mixer we're gonna make and take out and float around on our, uh, our floaties out here in the water. It's, it's gonna be a good day. Oh wow, they got a slide coming off their boat right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> That's cool. cool. We're gonna take our personal drinks down to the ocean and we're going to lay on our rafts and drink whatever concoction James just made me that is drinkable. I tried a couple times whatever he was making and it was straight liquors. Oh my gosh. More soda? Fanta, Sprite, Bacardi, and little mango juice box. It's gonna be a great time out on the rafts today. Great time. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. All of a sudden, it starts pouring. It's raining. We got all around, and we come to come out, and it starts raining. I had to leave our rafts behind. And then it stops. We went out into the ocean. It was so warm. The water was so beautiful. Nice, calm, just hung out there for, I don't know how long we were out there, just chilling in the water, talking. I'm gonna end up faced if I'm not careful. I just love being in the ocean. As long as it's clear, it's when I, it's murky and I can't see what's swimming around my feet, that's when I get a little bit. These very strong drinks that my husband made me take the edge off. We were heading down and it started raining and now it's absolutely freaking beautiful. We get down here and we're like, oh, perfect. We'll go to poolside since, you know, it likely made people leave. But there's not very many poolside chairs in my personal opinion, but there are a lot of beachfront chairs. I think they do a great job of making sure there's enough seats. There are some palapas, there's some umbrellas over here on the preferred side. And then there's some Bali beds, I think is what they're called, that you can rent and reserve. Well, I'm feeling like my husband made this an intentional drink of making it so I was unsobered. I'm feeling great. We're gonna go check out some pools. I don't know what time it is, but James has convinced me to go to this damn tequila tasting at Alpat Alpacio or <laughs> Alpacio. Brandy, there's a tequila no. tasting. <laughs> why don't you be Why don't you be more adventurous? Well, if I drink a tequila tasting at 4 p.m., I'll be out by seven. Let's do it. I'm not doing. Fine. My husband heard one of the um, activities members say something like, hey everybody, it's time to get drunk today. Thinking it was the tequila tasting. Yeah. Oh, tequila. I think she's oh telling God. us about the tequila. Let's go. Let's, she tequila said, let's get drunk everybody. Oh my God. Let's go. We gonna do this? Yes, I'm gonna do it. Don't just do it for me. Do it for America. But really what she said was, come play volleyball. Oh, tequila. We ended up getting out of the ocean for nothing, but we went and went up to the preferred area and checked out the pool. There are four pools here at, wait, where are we at? There are four pools here. Four pools total, three main pools and one preferred pool equally. Four pools total at this resort. Everything's very close. So all the restaurants are close together. The pools are close together. The first pool we hit up was the preferred club pool because we're preferred club members. Huh, yes, we're special, VIP. You know what I'm saying? I, I just felt special. 
I got into the pool and it just felt like magic around me. Unless you're a preferred member, you're not supposed to have access to that. But honestly, I don't see a whole lot of people checking you when you go into the preferred pool. You could probably go in there and get away with hanging out if you really wanted to. But The preferred pool um, is a nice pool. Um, there is no adult-only pools here. There is nothing adult-only here. This is a family resort designed for families. We'll get into this pool, and really nice pool. Had like little fountains and stuff. Like the other ones had fountains too, but this pool took it to another level with how pretty it was. Not a huge pool, but big enough. Wasn't overcrowded. The only thing about it was, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of seating outside of the pool. And really, there's not a whole lot of seating around any of the pools. So we go to the second pool over by the Barracuda Bar. It's kind of like the center bar right there. So we're at the pool beside the Barracuda Bar. It's a little loud here, um, but there's like a cool little waterfall effect. Brandy was just taking the water in her mouth and spitting it out like a water fountain just a little bit ago. I definitely was not doing anything <laughs> even close to that. That pool was probably one of the busiest pools other than the next pool that we went to, which was the pool by the Manatee Bar, which is a swim-up bar. It had more adults in it. We are at the Manatees Bar. It is the swim-up bar in the pool here. It's small, effective. You get your drinks and you move on. But this is, seems too busy. Nothing's busy. The other pool, it seems like more kids hang out at that pool. That seemed to be more like where families are taking their kids. We are in this pool. I don't know what the name is. Generally, this is, seems to be where a lot of the kids hang out, so I'm not sure why that is, but there seems to be a lot of kids over here. It gets deeper and deeper as you go out. It gets deeper right here. Oh, now I'm swimming. And that was a nice pool too. So I mean, really all the pools are great. I don't really have anything bad to say about them. All right, now it's time to go to some te te tequila tasting before I drown. We gotta go. Our tequila oh, tasting is It's started. one minute, he said. Then we go to the tequila tasting. Oh. Tried three different kinds of tequila. The thing that I learned was that tequila comes from, I don't know, I'm not gonna go over the whole thing. You have to go to the tequila tasting yourself. But Brandy loves tequila. Like that? Oh. I'm kidding, she hates it. She hates tequila. <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to swish it around. I can't. There's no swish it. Oh, oh my God. I give her props. I pushed her to do it, and in the end, she's happy she went. I actually really did enjoy the tequila tasting. This is done holding a hole. What face of that? On my next cruise, I can throw out some tequila knowledge. Chocolate with the Don Julio, which was absolutely delicious, completely cut out the tequila taste. That was actually good. Everyone agreed, except the one girl who wouldn't taste any of the tequila because it was subpar to what she was used to. She wouldn't drink any of it because she thought she was coming to get the ones that were on display, but she knew that that was only for show. I'm watching this girl and I'm like, oh. It's an unfortunate situation where she has super high expectations for a tequila tasting at an all-inclusive resort. Unrealistic. Well, I mean, we're pretty easygoing travelers. James loves to drag me to these tastings. I don't know if he hasn't learned yet that I don't do well at tastings. Oh my God. But this time I rocked it. James never once mentioned the fact that I rocked those shots. Whatever. You did a good job, honey. Thank you. If you are a very high-end tequila drinker, probably not the thing for you. But if you just want to go have a good time and sit with, you know, 12 other individuals on vacation, we had a great time. I'm not really sure that my husband knows what he got himself into today. I mean, I understand that he thinks that he took me to a tequila tasting and I, I did great there. But I feel like my tequila is really starting to kick in. I'm not standing up. He keeps telling me stand up, but I'm not. I'm going to go to the Italian restaurant and then hit up the entertainment tonight. We got hooked up on the baby beers. Today we left a, a note for the beer guy that restocks our refrigerator. We left a note for the maid. We left a note hoping to thank her for her services and then left a note for the more beer beers. delivery guy that we would like more cerveza and more agua. Mas agua y cerveza, por favor. Un montón de cerveza, gracias. Good job. And he definitely came through. That typically works. Like if you just ask them for what you want, they typically will. He gave us eight beers, eight little baby beers, equivalent to four beers, and a bunch of waters. So it did work, friends. Every traveler is different, so they never really know what you want, but you have to tell them what you want. Our stocking guy came through. We left some money for him, because we know those guys are underappreciated sometimes. Beer guys need love too. 
tonight I am just trying to find some, you know, areas of gratitude and just some, you know, love. And I am so blessed to be here with the man that I love with all my heart and soul. With all the stuff that we've been doing so far, it's nice to just be here with the one that I love on this beautiful beach, just relaxing, getting to spend quality time with her. Because for me, that's what Cancun's all about. Cancun is for lovers. Cancun is for the lovers. The lovers. First time I met James at his dad's house at a graduation party, I knew it was love at first sight until James told me, I don't believe in love at first sight. I did. And then he decided to bring me to Cancun. Fed me all the tequila, the tequila tasting, fed me all the rum from our room. And here we are, just two people joined in arms as one on the beaches of Cancun at the Dreams Resort. Doesn't get any better than that. Anything that uh, we do on this trip is definitely gonna be a nice memory. This is unreal. I love you. Aw, do you think that was fate? Cheers. What'd you get at the bar? Pina colada, it tastes really fake. Yeah, it's not real great, right? No. We're running. He's running for a beer. He is, literally, I think that's where he's running because the bar's closing. Tonight, James and I went to the Portofino Italian restaurant. Italian. Italian, whatever. Eat all that bread and pasta. And I did not enjoy a couple of the items. They were pretty flavorless. But the appetizer that I got was the the insalata caprese, which is like a tomato and um, mozzarella caprese salad. It was okay, but the cheese had zero flavor at all. So it was just kind of like a bland cheese with some tomato and a little aioli. And then for dinner, I got a ravioli di ricotta and spinach. So it was ravioli stuffed with ricotta and spinach. We got a side of calamari as well, which James thought the calamari was really good. I did not. I talked James into getting this cannellini dello chef, mm. but it's stuffed with crab and shrimp served with a tomato sauce. It, my food was all really good. I actually liked it better than the Mexican restaurant. I thought there was a little bit more flavor going on there at the Italian restaurant. The dessert, we were supposed to get a tiramisu, but we actually ended up getting like a chocolate cake with ice cream. And it was, it was very good, nice and warm, very good. We were in and out in about 50 minutes. So tonight was much faster than last night and the food was much better tonight. Still could use some flavors, but overall the dinner was really good tonight. You don't have to make reservations at any of the restaurants. If it's full, there's a wait. They give you a little buzzer and you can just walk around the resort. We took that buzzer all the way across the resort over to where the outdoor party was and it was pop night. So we haven't seen any stage entertainment here. So this was the first for us. Seems like they got all their entertainment out in between the two pools. There's like this little area that they use for a stage and then they got big speakers that they have set out there. And that's usually where they have their entertainment at night. It was pop night, so it was like all newer songs. They put like Lady Gaga songs and Bruno Mars, I think I remember them playing. A lot of lip syncing is typical of these resorts, but different. I actually really liked it. The music selection that they chose was a little bit more fresh compared to what we're used to seeing, at least within the last like five, 10 years. I don't know how many times we've seen Michael Jackson shows at these resorts, but. They uh, kept it interesting and it was quite comical at times as well. So. I really enjoyed it. I wish I could dance like that. I need to pick up some dancing skills. I have like two moves and that's about it. I've been working on my moves for you guys because I know that you guys love to see my, my awesome dance moves. I know there's probably some of you out there that wish you could move like me, but just practice and you'll get there. You'll get there. You could be as good as I am with your dance moves. You just have to practice, okay? That's how I how I got to where I am today. You don't get this overnight. You gotta work at it. We just basically walked over and got a drink at the sports bar and then um, went out and sat in the lobby by the front doors. They got some a bunch of lounge seats everywhere out there and we just kind of 
sat down and, and relaxed. You know, everyone here, all the staff has been absolutely wonderful. Everyone's been very kind. Every single staff member has been absolutely wonderful. They seem to take very good care of the grounds. There are like several little things that James has noticed that only he notices because he's a man. I have seen people kind of going around, like businesses going around with um, staff doing quotes for certain things. So I know there's more renovations coming. I think this resort is just under some construction and I think it's in a transition period. And I think if we were to come back in a couple years, it might be a completely different situation so i am trying to keep that in mind as well but so far i think that they've done a good job they just need to hit the rooms we got back up to our room the guy delivered a happy birthday cake for brandy when you come in they ask you if you're celebrating anything which is pretty typical at any all-inclusive always say that yes you are because you're gonna get something free just think of the next thing that you could be celebrating or something that could be months down the road to say yeah we're celebrating our anniversary or Yes, we're celebrating a birthday. Whatever it is that you're celebrating, usually there's some kind of extra thing that they do for you. In Brandy's case, they brought her in a cake and uh, we ate the cake. It wasn't real great, but it, whatever. I'm a hog and I just ate it anyway. I don't think Brandy ate much. She ate like a couple bites. She was like, ugh. She got all frosting. I, I fed it to her. So today didn't go as planned. Things just weren't working out for us. Were you just brushing your teeth with the water? Yeah. We're in Mexico. Don't drink the water. Oh no. <laughs> For real, how do you feel about drinking the water in Mexico? Something like brushing your teeth is not really a big deal. For me anyway. Other people might have a problem with it. I don't know. Maybe they have some kind of filtration in the water here. I didn't ask because I'm not really drinking the water. I'm not an expert on this subject, but I think what it is mostly when you go to a foreign country. I don't know how their water is treated. It might have like microbes that your gut's not used to, but uh, generally, yeah, you want to stick to bottled water. I think stuff like brushing your teeth, showering and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. Just to be on the safe side, yeah. Probably don't want to be drinking out of the, the faucet. Brush your teeth with tequila and you'll be fine. It kills all the harmful microbes. So last night we did have to leave the TV on all night just because you can hear everything. I did get a little bit more sound sleep last night, but I did notice that um, the baby did wake up a couple times, but I couldn't hear it as much. No. Today the ocean water is a little bit murkier than it has been this week. The color has changed today, but it looks like it's clear the further down this way that you go. But yeah, that happens this time of year. The closer it gets to summer, seaweed season. I have been told that obviously Mother Nature plays a part. Storms and everything brings it in and you never know when it's gonna hit your beach. But some days more seaweed comes up than others. Some beaches will be clear. Other beaches will be hit pretty hard. You just never know. It is a little bit murky, but it's still a beautiful view. Though Dreams Beach has less seaweed than other hotels, we knew it could happen. So we recommend having a backup plan like ours. Taking the nearby Ultramar Ferry to Isla Mujeres. I would love to go over to Isla Mujeres and rent a golf cart for the day. I think that's what we're gonna do today. You know, we're not gonna spend the whole day there. Maybe we will, I don't know. I have like all these things that I wanna do. I think it'll be fun. Went and got some lunch at Olio because the buffet was closed. We missed the buffet once again. And the Barefoot Grill is apparently this invisible restaurant that doesn't exist, that you have to ask a server for a menu and then they bring it to your chair, which we didn't know that. It says it's a restaurant, but when you click on it on the app, it does say, please ask your server for a menu. So this is like this invisible restaurant. We went to Olio for lunch. Which is the outdoor seafood restaurant by the pool. I got the Baja shrimp tacos for my appetizer. Brandy got the Mayan nachos. My Baja tacos beat her Mayan nachos easily, but her Mayan nachos were pretty decent too. But my Baja tacos were much better. They were very good. So I got that for my appetizer. And then I was like, uh, I'll just go with something basic, like a burger. So I got the beef burger. It was okay. I had an average burger. I got this fish. It's all, it's an entire it's fish, all fins, all fins included. He was really mad. If you saw him, he was like, tasted good though. Came with like yeah, a little a thing fish. of guacamole. Overall, Olio was a 
good restaurant. That restaurant was pretty good. We had to hurry up and get out of there because we knew that the ferry left at like 1.15. Went to go to the ferry to go to Islam Mujeres. Walked down there, it's about a 10 minute walk, super easy walk. So you walk out of the Dream Sands Resort. You go out of the resort, you're walking out the front door, you turn left and you pass the Fiesta Americana, you pass the Ryu and then the next Ryu and then there's a sign for the ferry. So just around the corner. You're in a good spot in the hotel zone. Lots of little places to shop in the area. Across the street, there's a pharmacy. You also pass the Selecto supermarket. That's where we have heard is the best place to go to purchase items that you might want as extras or if you forgot some items at home. I do not suggest purchasing anything from the hotel store. A swimsuit was 234 US dollars and then sunblock was 25 US dollars. You go across the street, even to the pharmacy that's literally across the street from this resort, and you are gonna pay significantly less. We get there and um, things just didn't work out to plan. We got there and we assumed we could pay with the card so we didn't take too much cash. So we get there and they only take cash. I had done my research. It's supposed to cost us maybe 60 bucks for our tickets. They went $80 cash at the desk and I'm like wow that seems really high and they don't take credit card I plan on paying with credit card this doesn't seem right let's just go back and see if we can purchase the tickets online and see what's up with this so we didn't end up buying our tickets at that time here we are walking back <laughs> I am very disappointed so then when we got back to the hotel I'm like wow this sucks when your plans don't go right in Cancun what do you do of course, you're gonna do what any sensible person would do. You take a shot of tequila, okay? That's what you do when you're in Cancun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We sit down, we look up the Ultramar ferry tickets from the Ultramar website and see that tickets round trip for the two of us would cost us $62. We purchased our tickets. Well, we tried to. We tried to purchase our tickets, but there was one more problem. Yeah. You ordered my margarita, right? Yeah. Tried to purchase the tickets online and our credit card was getting rejected. <laughs> it became a huge ordeal because I don't know what happened. James forgot to do something with our credit card. So now that we're in a, another country, it wasn't being accepted. It was being denied. I think Brandy's been on the phone for almost two hours now trying to square out our little credit card thing. Yeah, I screwed up. Normally I have this stuff all worked out before we leave and you failed to do your part. So we spent two hours midday of the beautiful day in the shade, getting all of that figured out. So once we talked to the credit card company, they got it all squared away for us and- Thank you so much, have fun, or have a good day. <laughs> good to go, so just make sure that you call your credit card companies before you leave the state and let them know where you're going. Feel Finally, bad. Jasmine helped me and we got it taken care of. So we decided we're gonna go to Isla Mujeres tomorrow. Well, we didn't get to go to the island today, so what are we gonna do? Well, last night we tried to rent the jet skis, but they were already closed. We were half hour too late. So we're like, okay, we're gonna rent jet skis tonight. So we rented the jet skis from this company. They're right here off the beach at the Dreams. They're off to the right. A little hut right at the edge of the property. Pray for me, guys. The first couple of minutes were not enjoyable at all. It was very fast. Her jet ski was pretty fast. I like hearing her scream, so I kept punching it. It was fun. You're being a dead my husband is unsafe and gunned it repeatedly. My head was pounding on the back of his back where the life jacket was. I could tell he was going for people's waves. And she's like slamming into my back. I'm like, well, hold on tighter. Come on. I felt completely out of control. He wouldn't listen to me. But she was my camera person. So she, she had one job. One job, one job. I had the GoPro and there for a while he was yelling at me because I wasn't GoProing how he wanted me to. How hard is it to keep a GoPro straight? It's got good stabilization. All I see is this. I hope this is not the footage. My recommendation is if you can't trust your spouse, significant other, to go at a safe speed, get your own jet ski. Next time, we're getting two jet skis. I'm a little bit sore, but it was a good time. Jet skis were so much fun. It wasn't too badly priced. I highly recommend it. Those were $65 per 30 minutes, 
And when your 30 minutes is up, they come and get you. So we got down with the jet skis and we walked the beach and we realized that a lot of seaweed has washed in today. It wasn't even this bad earlier in the day. Just as the day went on, it just got a little bit worse. But you see the brown sargasm, sargazzo. I don't know how you say it. We just looked it up on the Google Translate. It's sargassum seaweed. I want to say sargasm. Sargassum, not sargassum. Brandy doesn't like that one. You walk down a ways in front of some of the other resorts to your left. There wasn't as much seaweed over there. But the seaweed thing is kind of a day-to-day -day thing. You never know when it's gonna hit your beach. It's seaweed season and here in Cancun, they spend millions of dollars every year on cleanup of the seaweed, but there's not really anything they can do about it. I mean, you can look into it in yourself, but it's a real problem down here. But just be aware that it could be a thing if you're coming here in the summertime. Seaweed can be a real bummer if you're planning on spending all day in the ocean, especially if you're visiting Cancun during the summer. Just don't let it ruin your vacation. While the seaweed isn't harmful, it can make swimming a bit unpleasant when there's a lot of it. So just be prepared and you'll be good to go. After that, we were just kind of chilling on the beach. Yeah, we're preferred people, but I don't feel preferred. We are preferred club members, which means we're very special. I don't know when that starts, when you start feeling preferred. Huh. I felt preferred out there on the beach when we were getting service. What happened to our service out here? The club. We sat around, relaxed a little bit. We were gonna get in the pools, then end up getting in the pools. We decided to go back upstairs and kind of get around for dinner, went up, showered, all that kind of stuff. So we went to the Himichu Juice. Himichu? I don't even know what it was called. But it was Pan-Asian. All I know is Pan-Asian is delicious. That's all I know. Good choice. It was probably my favorite dinner that we've had here. The sushi was really good. They have a whole sushi menu. It was good. We are not sushi connoisseurs by any means, but it was good. I don't know much about sushi. I just know that I like it. I don't even know what I'm eating half the time. I got a Thai salad that I really like. James didn't much enjoy it. And then James got some miso ramen, and I really liked that. He said it lacked flavor, but I liked it. And then we each got our own little dinner, and it's probably my favorite restaurant so far. Nothing that was uh, really standout-ish that I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that was the best, you know, pan-Asian I've ever had in my life, but it was good. We skipped out on the hibachi just because we've done it so many times. You do have to have reservations for the hibachi. The server last night was absolutely exceptional. It was the best dinner that we've had since we've been here. And the service, again, like every other night has been wonderful. They had a fusion dinner down at the beach that you could purchase a table. Your table purchase is a bottle of liquor or champagne, all ranging from $90 to $150. You had to pay those extra dollars to get into that. And they had like dinner and entertainment and I could hear it sounded good. They had like violins playing different music and all lit up, all pretty. They, they took them hours to set it up. They were setting it up like all day long. Special occasion. I'm assuming they just try to like get people to spend more and more money once you get in there. So that just seems to be the, the way things go at this resort. There was nothing happening at this resort last night. Kind of unfortunate. They had some music playing on the beach, but other than that, there was not much to do that night. We went to the sports bar last night. It's not open all the time. They don't have very many liquor options. They just don't have all the ingredients that some of the other bars do. A very small bar there. We were watching some sports in there. It's a fine sports bar. There's no pool tables or something like that. It's literally just five TVs and a bar. Like an office chair. Got some strawberry mojitos, which were very good. Uh, very sweet, but very good. So we went back to the lobby bar, Rendeverous. <laughs> Rendezvous. Got a couple drinks at the lobby bar called Rituals, and this is my ritual. So good. I have no idea what's in this. You don't know anything about the ritual, do you? Yeah, I didn't think so. This is probably my favorite drink that I've had this entire trip. I don't know what's in it. I have zero <laughs> clue. It's not sweet. I mean, it's sweet, but it's doable. It tastes like there's green tea in it. It was better the first time we had it, though. I will say that. Made by the same person but the lobby bar has a pretty decent amount of liquor and they seem to have, um, their menu is, is good as well. So far what I'm seeing is consistency kind of lacks in this resort. One thing that they are consistent on is the service. 
I've had great service since I've been here, especially as a preferred member. You go to those preferred bars, you're gonna get better liquors, you're gonna get better drinks. We haven't hit up the preferred club bar up on the second floor yet, but I think we're gonna try that out tomorrow. What it really comes down to is what your expectations are. You spend a certain amount of money, you might have a certain kind of expectation where that money's gonna get you. With as many of these all-inclusives and cruising, all the stuff that we do, we still come in pretty low expectations. We're pretty laid back. I don't want anybody to take it wrong and think that we dislike this resort because that's not the case. We're having a good time here. It's just we have to point out the things that we see that could use some work and things that just might put certain people off. We just want to give an honest opinion. But yeah, we had a good day today. It was a nice day. I spent two hours that I wish I could get back, but we got the credit card thing taken care of. And tomorrow is going to be another great day. I got to get to bed. This is just the way it has to be. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you need to subscribe, okay? I just, I really want you to because I love you. Oh. Stop it. Brandy felt that was a little too far. I'm sorry. I apologize. She said, don't let your kids watch this channel anymore. Wait, are your kids watching this channel? Isla Mujeres was a bust. Credit card issues, seaweed invasion, and resort boredom couldn't dampen our spirits that day. Because in the end, we knew that we were still together in Cancun, Mexico. Determined to make the last day of our vacation the best yet. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, night. The beach is pretty much blasted here at the resort today with seaweed. It's gotten way worse. The color has changed and it's washed up now on the white sand. It just happens. It's that time of year, you know, it's in the summertime. And you never know when it's gonna hit. We are going to finally get to go to Isla Mujeres today. I think it'll be fun. But then we'll come back early evening before dinner and have dinner back here at the resort. Today, we're going to the island. Don't know what time we're gonna jump on one of these ferries, but we're really gonna go on this island and, and do a couple things there. Yeah, we got a lot to try to hit up today. I'm excited about today. Let's get this done. Let's do this. Just off the coast of Cancun, Isla Mujeres is a tiny island famous for snorkeling and diving. It's about five miles long and half a mile wide. Rough waves and rocky cliffs meet the Caribbean on the east, and on the west you can see Cancun across the calm water. Besides underwater adventures, the island has shopping, fishing, and perfect beaches for sunbathing. All right, we're walking to the ferry. See if we can get on this time. There are multiple ferry options to reach the island. We selected this particular one because it was closest to our resort. Bought the tickets yesterday online. They were $62 online for our trip, but we bought them and the tickets are good for six months. We can use them whenever we wanted. They send you an email and has QR codes. They had like a little QR code. They just had to scan it, get on the ferry and off you go. We are here waiting to get on the Ultramar Ferry to go to Isla Mujeres. Cute little hangout spot, nice little beach. Out there on the pier, they'll serve you. You can get something to eat. They have these little teeny tiny chairs. I think mine was cracking a little bit. It's very piquito, piquito. But yeah, we had beers. That was cool. First beer of the day. Tasting pretty good right now. I would have had like two more beers if I would have realized it actually didn't leave till 1.15, but it took us a while to figure that out. Ferry came. It was on time. Don't be late to that ferry or you will miss it. They are very timely. We're anticipating a uh, pretty decent welcome entourage of people trying to get you to get their golf carts, go into their stores. All set their dreams. Yeah. James yelled at me for taking this bag over and he's like, mwah, 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 mwah. They're gonna go over to come up to you and be like, I remember you from the dreams. And I kind of gave her shit about bringing the bag because I knew that people on the streets and they know that what resort you're from just from the things that you carry around. And they'll say, hey, don't I know you from the dreams? Just so you approach them. Once you approach them, then they want to sell you something. I didn't realize how bad it was gonna be when I came here the last time. So I'm kind of, I already know what we're getting ready to walk into. It'll be all right. I'm excited. On the way there, it was probably about 
35 to 40 minute ride. I didn't time it on the way there, so roughly 30 to 40 minutes. But on the way back was only about 25 minutes. I actually timed it on the way back. But I thought that was pretty cool though, because they had like a guy walking around and he had like a cooler of drinks and stuff. And then he had snacks. So we got some beers. And then there was a guy that with a guitar playing music. Everybody else but my husband saw a whale. So that was super cool. The whale sharks. It's whale shark season, I do believe, down here in Mexico from like May to September. So if you're here during that time, there are excursions that you can book to go swim with the whale sharks. They're very docile. They don't try and eat you, but he didn't see it. I saw it and a bunch of people up there were pointing at it. And that was something cool that we saw on the way there. Once we got there, when you get off the ferry, you walk through a little terminal. And the first thing that one of the guys says, hey, I remember you from the dreams. And I'm like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I remember you from the dreams. It's the first thing anybody said to us when we got off. Super crowded. Everyone wants to take your dollars. And I don't mean like they just want to take your dollars. I mean, they want you to buy something from them. You're gonna hear a lot of hooting and hollering like, come over here, I have something for you. Hey, hey, hey. You look like you want a cigar, bro. Free tequila, free tequila. Here, come in my store, I have something to show you. You're probably gonna have people offer you drugs. We didn't realize how many people were gonna try to sell us golf carts. You wanna go car buddies? Scooters? But we walked around for a while trying to figure out where to rent a golf cart from. We were told not to rent from anybody right there. When you walk off, to always go to an office. So get past that chaos. So we walk around and uh, James got a little frustrated. So we got out of the crazy. Now we're just walking. We have absolutely no plans for today. Just killing time. We didn't have a very good game plan. Brandy was getting frustrated with me because I was starting to get a little pissy about the whole situation. And had a dad time out. Sometimes I act like a child. I'm just walking. Oh, Jesus. You think there's any golf cart rentals over no, there? No, absolutely not. But we found this company and I finally made a decision. This is where we were going to rent our golf cart from. It looked reputable, it was off to the side. It wasn't where all the hustle and bustle was. So we walked in and all the prices were posted. I always like to see posted prices. We paid cash, you can pay card. You could tell this was a reputable company. Their golf carts looked good. They had everything ready to go. All the information, they had a picture map that you could take a picture Very of. Very organized. Very organized company. They take your driver's license for collateral. So they give you your golf cart number, you go out, they put you in your golf cart, teach you how to use it real quick, and you're on your way. Hold on to your britches. I had no idea where I was going. I just knew I needed to go to the one side of the island, so I just went left. With our trusty golf cart rented for two hours, we mapped out a simple yet ambitious plan for Isla Mujeres. Conquer its length. Starting with Punta Sur at the south end and ending with the iconic Playa Norte at the north. And that was our plan. We're going to Punta Sur if we can make it there. You have to go to the end of the island, right? Let's just hope that the golf cart doesn't break down. I'm trying to focus on that nine and slowing down for all these damn speed bumps. But there are a shit ton of speed bumps. We pulled out with our golf cart onto the main road and there's like three or four people pushing this golf cart down the street. God knows how long they had to push it, how far. Hope it wasn't too far, but they were pushing their golf cart down the main drag of East London And James said, well, I hope that doesn't happen to us because we're going to the other side of the island. We took the golf cart down the main drag and went out towards Punta Sur. It was enjoyable going through like little areas of the island. Look at this cute little town. I feel like there's no rules. James tells me there is laws, but I, I feel like, yeah, you drive on the side of a road, but that's it. The best tacos on the island and handsome boys. Can't beat that. There are signs for all the places you're trying to go. You just have to pay attention because there's not very many of them. Because there are resorts over there, there's the secrets, there's private houses, there's verbos, there's Airbnbs, there's all kinds of stuff over there. So we found Punta Sur and missed, missed it. Had to turn around. I'm gonna turn around. We passed it? Yep. And we gotta turn back around. Once you know that you're going around the loop in a different direction. Yeah, then you know you're going too far. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm getting excited. I've seen so many pictures of this went in and there's a large parking lot. So parked our golf cart, walked up, and that's where you start to see the unbelievable beauty of Punta Sur. Probably one of the most beautiful locations that I've ever witnessed in my life. It is breathtaking. It's beautiful. Definitely something to see. 
it is gorgeous. There are statues everywhere. There's like little photo op areas. It's free at the front of it and there's little shops. We wanted to go out and check out the outlook over the ocean and check all the ruins and the statues. You could go down there and kind of see what it's all about. Maybe do a little bit of shopping and stuff. You could take the picture by the sign. You know, it's still really pretty, but I think to get the real views though, you have to pay that little extra bit of money and go down there. And I'm telling you, it's worth it. So that is six US dollars per person. You might get a discount if you're a local. We get down there and there's statues. The statues are pretty recent. Representations of the history. There's trails that you can walk around and little QR codes that you can scan to learn more about the statues and what they mean. I love Mayan culture, it's so cool to me. That water is crystal clear. It's beautiful. Hey, what's out there? That black, do you see it? Hold on, it's come back up right there it is. It's a, it's swimming, whatever it is. So cool. Feels good up here too, it's got a nice breeze. It's actually hot as hell out here right now. We were kind of looking at all the statues, the Mayan ritual stuff. All these statues had the boobies hanging out. I did hear a kid ask their mom, mom, why are there milks out? <laughs> and the mom was like, buddy, those are, those are, uh, this is art. Yeah, these the Mahares mean Island of Women. I saw a lot of women there today, actually, so it makes a lot of sense. Saw a couple iguanas that were super cool. At the end are some old ruins, but it's just like, I don't know what it was supposed to be. What, it used to be a lighthouse or something like that, Brandy. I'm not really sure what that was or if it was supposed to be anything. I really didn't do my research before going. There were birds flying over us. Just kind of circling around, just waiting for something to happen. Waiting to shit on my head, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Feel like that's what's happening. The cliffs are beautiful. The water is completely clear. The water is so blue, so beautiful. I could stand out here all day and just listen to those waves crash. When we were there, there were sea turtles. Huge. Oh, there's the turtles. You can see them. Oh, how so cool is that? Those are big turtles. So man. freaking cool. They're huge. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I've never, I've never. That is so freaking cool. It's so clear, you can see straight down. You can go down and walk on different levels of rock. But you can go down and walk around down closer to the water. The waves were up really high, so there was one level that we couldn't get to. Well, I don't know about this. <laughs> It's wet. Oh my gosh. This is it. You can't go further, I bet. Oh. Oh yeah, we're not going down there. <laughs> Get out, dude. Nope. I'm not going into the ocean. There is a walkway down here that you can go closer to the water, but the tide's a little high. Uh, rough water's a little bit, so um, this is about as far as I'll allow James to go. <laughs> he don't need to be shark feed today yeah, so yeah. oh yeah I'm sure people have died out here without a doubt all right now I'm gonna crawl my ass back up these stairs because I'm afraid to fall it just splashed up on James haha <laughs> this is unreal and then it happened oh you must I knew it was coming. One of the birds shit on Brandy. <laughs> Don't let my hair get in it. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. But Punta Sur is the best place apparently to watch the sun come up. The sign said, you could, if you're standing here and watch the sun come up, you can say that you were the first person in Mexico to see the sun come up. At Punta Sur, you have to pay to use the restrooms. That's why when you're driving around the island, you see all the signs for free bathrooms. You have to pay to use them. Many of them apparently don't have seats on them, which I did experience that at the last place that we were at. Punta Sur, definitely a place to see it in Suma Pardes. I could have spent a hell of a lot more time there. It was beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I wish we would have more time to walk around here. People are literally down around the cliffs taking beautiful pictures. This is definitely something to see, guys. Come here, check this out. So simple, yet so beautiful. 
Now we just have to figure out how to get back up. Good idea would be to bring a hat and a hair tie. Lots of water, sunblock. We are gonna be looking a little crispy. So then we're like, man, we spend so much time doing this. We only have two hours with the golf cart and we had to get back to the ferry by five because we had some stuff that we wanted to do here at the Dreams on our last day. And it was already like 3.30. We knew it was gonna take around 20 minutes to get back to the other end of the island by then. I wanted to go to Playa Norte, which is the northernmost point of the island. It's apparently like beautiful beaches right there. And then there's a bunch of beach clubs Go that you can beach. pay. We weren't gonna have a whole lot of time to swim and enjoy the beach, but we still wanted to kind of check it out. So we drove down to the northern part of the island. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like the tire could fall off this thing at any moment. Yeah, I was making some noises. That's ours, just in case you were wondering. When we got to Playa Norte, we had to start going back. It was getting a little too close for comfort for me to get our golf cart back to the rental company. And I knew that those ferries are timely. Yeah. And I did not want to miss the ferry. So we didn't plan our day well enough. We hope to enjoy some beach time and perhaps do some shopping. By the way, the north side of the island is where you'll find the most popular beaches, shops, and restaurants. As you head further south, the island becomes less populated. Unfortunately, we couldn't do everything we'd hoped to do that day, but at least our golf cart didn't break down. We took the golf cart back. They were very nice when we took it back. They gave me my driver's license and said, have a good day, and off we went. We had a good experience. Good job, Randy. I recommend the, the woman to drive. If you are going as a couple, the female should drive the golf cart. It was a much better experience than what we had yesterday on the jet ski. So after we dropped our golf cart off, we decided we were gonna go find a beer somewhere and just sit and wait until it was time. We had like half an hour. We found Miramar and walked up and they were really nice and we got a beer and sat at the bar for a little bit. And then we got on the ferry. Muy caliente. She spends a day on an island. Now she thinks she knows Spanish. She's been hearing Spanish all day. I will admit I don't, but I will. I'm gonna <laughs> learn it when I get home. 501 today, they were out of there and we were moving away from the pier. No Mexican minute there, on time. Very impressive. The ferry has two levels, the bottom and the top. The top is the open air, and the, the bottom level is an air conditioned area. So we did both on the way there. We did the upper deck and underneath, and we did the underneath one when we were sweaty hot messes. <laughs> Coming back, we sat in the air conditioning, and it felt so good. On the way back, it did seem like it moved a hell of a lot faster than on the way there. It was 25 minutes back, but it was 40 minutes on the way there. I loved it. James almost got left in Isla Mujeres. I almost left him there, but it was really everything I hoped to get out of that day. I've been really looking forward to going over there, but I could have done a couple more hours or the rest of the day. I wish I could have experienced a beach, but I'll be back there, that's for sure. This is not our last time at this island. It's got a lot to offer and we do the Cancun thing pretty often, so I'm, I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Another successful day off of the resort, Cancun. Don't be afraid to be venture out in the hotel zone. It's uh, pretty safe. The taco boys, they probably have better food. <laughs> they probably do. We came back to the resort and we were gonna go swimming, but then we decided that we were too hungry. So we went up and got around to go out for dinner. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Earlier that day, we got to have breakfast at the resort buffet and check out the fitness center. We didn't eat the buffet till the very last day. By the time we had it, we realized we weren't really missing out on much. It left a lot to be desired. It's very small. There was really not a whole lot of options there. And what I did have wasn't very good. It had like breakfast, lunch, and bread and a smoothie bar. That might have been good cold. They had a waffle maker. Again, not a foodie. I'm not picky on my food. I just eat to eat and move on. It was not great. Do I think that you can find something that you'll be okay with for eating for breakfast? Yes. For most people, you probably find something that you can eat, get in your stomach. We're not big breakfast people anyway. Hence the reason why we 
hadn't hit up the buffet yet. I got French toast, the hotcakes, and a tostada. That was pretty good. The French toast was rock hard. The hotcakes were bland. I mean, I don't even know how you make bland hotcakes. And then I got a mimosa. The best thing about my breakfast was the tostada and my mimosa. But that was our first experience with the buffet. The hours were kind of wonky. I don't think that they were open for dinner every night. But after we ate at the buffet, we went in and checked out the fitness center. I didn't get shots of everything, but I looked around. They had dumbbells, a little rack system. It looked like some free weights your basics they have some machines some treadmills and there is bottled water and towels available along with fresh water on the other side if you're interested in that that it was it looked pretty nice we went to the preferred lounge if you're a preferred member i think that's a huge perk i feel like kind of fancy supposed to be preferred members only but we walked in with a lot of confidence we walked in here all confident and nobody asked us if we were even preferred club members they didn't ask us for a room number anything you might be able to sneak in here if you just walk in here with some confidence like yeah i belong here i mean seriously i'm wearing a 15 dollars shirt with birds on it a pair of foam shoes and they let me in here they let me it was a perfect time to visit because you got these little window seats. It's all glass. You're looking towards the beach and the sun was getting ready to go down. So we're like, oh man, this is gonna be great. And then they had TVs in there, a lot of little seating and they bring out a drink menu and we ordered some drinks. The drinks were so good and it came in a really nice glass with an ice cube ball. Brandy's drink was good, I tried hers. My drink was awesome. Brandy, do you feel fancy at the preferred club or? No, I don't feel fancy. I feel like I got a really cool ice cube in my cup though. <laughs> my drink is really good. All the drinks on the preferred menu looked exceptional. It is a pretty large area. They had some snacks there. The snacks changed throughout the day. Brandy got a couple little cupcake thingies. I don't know what the heck they were. I don't know, but it's really good. A little salad. Really was hoping salad would be really good because I really wanted some greens. But it was all the middle of the iceberg lettuce. But the flavor was good. I like the mustard salad dressing. The dessert was good. Oh, that's really good. I'm not a huge fan of frosting, but this is what yeah. frosting. It's not because you're hungry, right? Might be, I'm really hungry. <laughs> we watched the sunset up there and it was beautiful. I love her so much. The server was exceptional, which is all across this resort. Everybody's been wonderful. It's not just preferred, everybody. I think the preferred is worth it for the drinks, personally. I think the drinks are really good. So we go to dinner. We go to the Guaca Grill, Guacha Grill. Guacho? Oh no. I couldn't wait to eat here. I got a crab cake for an appetizer. It was amazing. James got the chicken wings and he really liked those as well. They made a chicken wing look really fancy. I had to like rub them in the sauce myself, but the flavor, the actual sauce was, was delicious. All right, the chicken wing is good. Now I want like 15 more. Can we make this happen? I'm preferred, okay? I ordered the New York steak. When he brought it to me, he told me I had a ribeye. So whatever. We are such easygoing people. We don't ever complain. Just We just eat what they give us. But my steak, the sauce was so good. It, that's what made that steak was the sauce that was on top of the steak was so good. I ordered the salmon. It was a little overcooked. It was a little dry. It's forgivable. It's easy to overcook. The food isn't as flavorful as it could be. The presentation is there. It's just flavor is lacking. The dinner at that guacho was my favorite. The Pan Asian restaurant was my favorite until I went to the guacho grill. But everywhere else is bleh. Not bleh, but like blah. Like blase. Yeah. You like the Italian. I thought it was okay. If I was here for seven days, I would eat out at a different restaurant because now we've ate at all the restaurants. And you can go back to those restaurants and get something new because there is a lot of food on the menus. But I think I would get sick of the food here and go pay for a dinner across the street at the restaurant that says best tacos in Cancun. I thought the entertainment was typical for an all-inclusive. Karaoke night I thought was done very well. I thought the entertainment was pretty decent. I can't really say whether it was good or bad. It's just not anything that I really care about. So there's one more thing that we haven't done yet here at the Dreams Resort, and that's order from their 24-hour room service menu. Some all-inclusives don't offer that option, so it was nice to have that. The menus, I guess, change throughout the day. You have like a more limited menu later on at night. 
the late night hours, there was plenty of things to order from on that menu. So we got room service. It was supposed to be there within the hour. I'm tired. I know, I'm ready to call it a day too, really. So I, I hope they get here soon. I've always wondered this, like people that bring the room service orders to the room, like what kind of weird stuff do they see? I'm sure there's people that are like completely naked. <laughs> they walk into the rooms. I'm sure there's like some crazy stories that those guys can tell you, but I'll never know. It's on its way. Brandy said her food's on its way. Room service arrived in 50 minutes. We got a few different items. Got Caesar salad, some kind of club sandwiches, and uh, pizza. James was just saying that these guys probably have seen some stuff in these hotel rooms when they're delivering late night delivery. <laughs> I'm laying in bed and he comes in and he doesn't look at the bed a single time. Dude's yeah. seen some <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not even hungry right now. It looks like the best pizza I've ever seen in my life. She said they're lunchable pepperonis. The pizza was disgusting. This is the worst pizza I've ever had in my life. The pizza was the most disgusting pizza. I love pizza, even bad pizza. I'm still gonna eat it. Ew. I usually eat crust. Not today. <laughs> Not today. These pepperonis are disgusting. Are they pepperoni? The Caesar salad. Okay, I like the dressing. The dressing was good, but the lettuce kind of tasted like it hadn't been cleaned. The lettuce tastes like pesticides. Club sandwich. I enjoyed it. A romantic dinner in bed. Cheers. The club sandwich was edible. The whole vacation, I feel like I've been complaining about food, and I don't complain about food ever in my life. But yeah, came in 50 minutes. <laughs> Made it. Good time. These rafts are finding a new home here in Mexico. And like that, our last day of vacation was over. So here are some of our final thoughts on Dream Sands Cancun. I always take reviews with a grain of salt, because typically people only do reviews if they're unhappy or something's wrong. They don't go on and say how good things are. Unlike the wild party scene of some resorts, Dream Sands charmed us with its intimate, relaxed vibe. Perfectly nestled at the top of the hotel zone, it offered easy access to local shops and the Isla Mujeres Ferry. Yet the beachfront felt secluded and serene. The resort's beautiful beach with calm waters was nice and the staff's dedication to service exceeded our expectations. We found that upgrading to the preferred club was worth it for the extra bars, pool, and private beach service but we realized that those few things alone might not be worth the extra money for some. Dream Sands Cancun was a charming resort, but it did have some setbacks. The food was edible, but nothing to write home about. No real standouts, and the buffet seemed to play hide and seek with its dinner hours. Our upgraded room felt fancy on paper with all those extras, but in reality, it was mediocre at best. And don't even get me started on staff constantly pushing upgrades. For kids, the resort was kinda, eh. Sure, they had pools, activities, and a kids club, but no water park or anything too exciting. Compared to other Cancun resorts meant for families, Dream Sands felt a bit tame. If your little ones are thrill seekers, this might not be their jam. But hey, if all you want to do is bake on a gorgeous beach, this place nails it. Ultimately, choosing a Cancun resort depends on what you or you and your family are into. Dream Sands might not be the perfect fit for everyone, but hey, you do you. I'm pretty sure that these birds that took a shit on Brandy are the exact same birds that are on my shirt today. You recognize these birds? Don't let my hair get in it. Cancun is for lovers. So the next time you're in Cancun, grab your lover by the arms. Tell them how much you love them and subscribe to Famable. If you're a lover, subscribe. <laughs> Here comes a couple. <laughs>